Kia ora tātou katoa. I te tuatahi ka mehi rā kia kūtou ko hara mai ngā tōpito katoa te motu kia te tū mai au ki rotu te whare whaaruma tā nau mai, nau mai hare mai. Kai ngā pāpā, kai ngā mātanga, kai ngā tohunga o te mātauranga a tēnā kūtou hare mai. Ko mehi e kūtou e te hunga e kupuri nei te Māori o te whare ko tāko ko te tautoko a ke ngā mehi kia kūtou katoa tēnā kūtou. Hara mai me te āhutongo ngā mate kairongi a kūtou. A whakatako ko hia ki mui e tiau a te arawa nei. Tū nei ki mui a koutou te pō nei. Wai hora atau kia moia nei tātou e wete wete nei. Wānaka nei te āhutanga o tēnei noho tahi. Tēnā kūtou. Tēnā kūtou. Kia ora tātou te tō. I've got to say I'm a little bit nervous in front of all of you and in particular some of the people in the room tonight. I wish I had P-R-O-F in front of my name but I don't. I've got MP after it, which is, uh, is only last for a couple, of, couple more years, maybe. <laughs> uh, but those uh, gentlemen and ladies that are with us tonight, I uh, just uh, feel a little bit uh, well, nervous, which is, shouldn't be like that, because I've been in Parliament for seven years, but uh, when there's people that are pretty knowledgeable about their stuff, and, and you're just a little simple Māori boy from Oaha and Noturua, uh, you've got to start thinking about what am I doing up here. <laughs> uh, but I want to thank uh, very much the uh, Wendy for the invitation to be with you tonight. I want to thank Professor, Professor Boris Tenangwe uh, because you certainly gave us a big, huge uh, picture about uh, the discussion. And when I went into the hall this afternoon, I saw all of those uh, whiteboards and those uh, facilitators going backwards and forwards up and down the line looking at where they're supposed to be putting stickies. I thought, gee, there's, there's been a lot of work going on, so congratulations. It's a real privilege for me to be here uh, with you tonight. Uh, and the topic, while I did have a sort of a speech here, in some senses it's sort of gone out the door already because uh, there's some things that are clearly uh, way bigger than uh, what we even envisaged when we first started talking about this kaupapa. So uh, the, the, the general gist is uh, for me to talk about tonight was where did this whole idea come from? You've heard that uh, the, the notion of this panel came from the Māori Party, the mighty Māori Party. <laughs> <laughs> I say mighty because there's only three of us, and yet we were still able to, working with 59 of the National Party, put this on the national agenda, and that for me is a major achievement. Um, so, so we're pretty proud of ourselves, and sometimes pat ourselves on the back. Although there are days when we say, yay, we have this constitutional review on the way, hip hip hooray, we come down to earth because the practical reality, as Professor Burroughs talks about, is right here and right now, constitutional issues at the Tiriti of Waitangi are smack dead in front of us, and it'll be even closer next Monday with this announcement about some, some shares and stuff like that and water. <laughs> um, so <laughs> so you, if there's, a, there's one thing to talk about, it, there's another thing to sort of make it happen on, a, on an everyday basis. And I suppose that's what I sort of wanted to, to, to present to you tonight, just some ideas, some thoughts on a personal note. And tomorrow, of course, I have to talk to you about, uh, or at least facilitate other people, because I suspect a lot of my quarter is going to be uh, with you tonight. So, firstly, can I say thank you for the invitation. Secondly, to acknowledge uh, uh, my other parliamentary colleagues. I'm not too sure if, if uh, Paul Goldsmith is here, but uh, well, Paul, tenakwe, and thank you for uh, hosting the, thing, the event tonight. Um, and also to all the experts that have been a part of the work, and, um, and in particular, those of people who are sweating and having a rest right now, uh, go hard tomorrow. Um, I want to say, as I've said to a number of forums that I've been invited to, that it's really awesome to see uh, young people come together and do work like this that is so important because a lot of the time we don't actually see this work happening in a group basis, putting together the, uh, the minds of young people throughout the country. And one of the sad things is that we actually don't take enough time out to have this sort of discussion at home, at home base, amongst our peers. So congratulations, and I hope that at the end of uh, tomorrow, when I come back and see uh, what you've been up to, uh, in between debates on gay marriage and, and um, gang and Sydney and alcohol, uh, that we'll be able to come back and listen to some real important stuff about the Constitution. Um, where did this whole notion come from? Uh, the Māori Party, as most will know, was, uh, grew out of uh, the foreshore and seabed debacle, or debate. Um, <laughs> uh, and, um, and I suppose at the time, uh, many, uh, th those far more knowledgeable than me, suggested uh, that had a constitution been in place at the time of the Foreshaw and Seabed, perhaps the whole debacle would never have happened. I'm not too sure about that, I'm not the expert in that field, but there are some who would suggest uh, that was, that is the case. 
Um, but uh, as, as Professor Burroughs talked about, it has opened up a, a something that just listening today has sort of blown my mind as to what we were really on about at the time. Um, because he, he suggested in, in one part of his quarter that it comes down to simple things, well, they may not be simple, about the relationship between ministers and staff. Well, I can tell you, never, never, never did we even think about the whole notion that we're going to be talking about that sort of debate. To be truthful, the debate was about how, how are we going to actually find for Māori some mana in this land? Uh, and the debate was actually about, well, we should, we should actually have every Māori that's born in this country should automatically go on the Māori roll, and they should vote uh, on that roll unless they opt out. For those of you who don't know, Māori at this point in time can be on the general roll or the Māori roll. Uh, and of course we said that's not fair, we want to actually uh, get more seats <laughs> as a vested interest. Um, but also there's a view that Māori should actually be on the Māori role and then it turned into, well that's something that we actually need to place in front of a, a, a panel that takes it as a constitutional issue. That's basically where it all well, it started from the foreshore and seabed, but it's all come, come down to our last year's uh, policy manifesto about those sorts of issues. So you'll, you'll appreciate, as I say, that getting three members of the Māori Party to have the National Party agree to a constitutional review took a long time to work through the detail, and I spe suspect that, um, and listening to some of the, and, and having been to some of the one or two meetings, that it's taking a little bit of time to grind it up, uh, but it's a long conversation that is hopefully going to deliver something uh, that will be it for the betterment of the country. The next question is, well, can we do something about it when it's all finished? Well, they say that it comes down to moving things in this country, it comes down to MMP environment and small parties, and the hope will be that the Māori Party is smack dead in the middle of the debate, and if we are, you can take it, that it will be on the agenda. Um, as I say, the, the whole question about the Constitution is, is pretty important right here and right now as the discussion goes on with respect to the rights and interests of Māori in water. I'm not going to go into that sort of discussion, but to say don't believe that it's something that's a long way away or something distant. It doesn't affect us here and now. It affects us every day. In fact, yesterday morning I was in a meeting with the Prime Minister talking about exactly those issues. And do you want to know? Oh, no, I won't tell you. <laughs> You'll find out shortly. Anyway, um, can I say right from the start that the notion of the Constitution for Aotearoa, is, as Professor Burroughs says, in my view, is inextricably linked to Te Tiriti of Waitangi as the founding document of our land, and therefore it is the defining point of our uh, emerging sense of nationhood. And I, I think it probably explains why I'm here in Parliament. It explains who I am and what I believe right now. To help in sort of setting the scene, I want to reflect on what I said in Parliament in 2014. It was a great day. Uh, sorry, November 24, and uh, this, remember this day, November 24, uh, 2005. What was important about that day? Uh, was the day I gave my maiden speech in Parliament. But um, <laughs> that aside, this is what I said, which hopefully sets the scene about a general view, uh, well at least it's my view and I hope uh, that of others, about why this discussion is so important. Māori now have a party that can raise these issues without fear of compromising their party loyalty. There are many issues that have not been raised before. I hope to have the opportunity to raise them. I would not do so, oh, sorry, I would do I will do so not to put Māori ahead of anyone else, but simply to ensure that the issues of justice and fair play are exposed and debated freely and openly by us all. I believe it is only in that way that we can and will develop that true understanding of our respective traditions and values that will enable us to move forward as a united people sharing common goals. I continue. At times I've looked on in despair at what our people have had to endure over the years and wonder what is the point of even having Māori members of Parliament. If the great Sāpira Manata couldn't have our treaty rights recognised, if Tahu Pō Tiki Rātana couldn't, then what chance will a Māori boy from Awaho and Ngotorua have? Is there any chance of changing how our people are treated through the parliamentary process? Do people know what it's like to face the people of Parihaka and talk to them about the 1880 Māori Prisoners Act, where over 200 Taranaki people were placed in prison without trial? Or the 1881 West Coast Settlements Act that made legal the arrest of any Taranaki Māori without a warrant, with a further penalty of two years hard labour if they hindered, if they hindered the surveying of land? 
I wonder if the people of Utekoti Dunedin realised that their harbour was built by people imprisoned without charge. The people of Parihaka will still, still talk about the soldiers coming into the village while the children played on the road and the woman took food to the soldiers as a gesture of manakitanga. They also talk about their people being taken away and the villages being burned <coughs> to the ground. They remember those events through sayings like e tu tama wahine i te wā o te kore. This is a reference to encourage women to stand and speak basically because all of their men had been taken away to prison. I said in that speech and I maintain uh, right now I believe that if we uh, were to educate people throughout the whole country about our history and the rights inherent in Te Tiriti of Waitangi, about why things are, the, are as they are, then perhaps we could make positive stuff to changing, uh, changing things for the positive for the whole country. So, there you go. The Constitution is important, and I can't agree more uh, than with Judge Eddie Taihakure Jury, who said, quote, honouring the treaty was, However, not just a Bill of Rights for Tangata Whenua, it was also uh, a Bill of Rights for those who belong to this land by right of that treaty. And yet, despite the policy and legislative changes that have taken place to better recognise the treaty, shortfalls remain which adversely affect the lives of whānau, hapū and iwi and which compromises our potential as a nation. So, linked to my own views, I cannot speak tonight about I cannot speak enough about the importance of the cross-party reference group in relation to the constitutional review. Uh, without perhaps talking about that background and about how the Māori Party instigated this review in the first instance. Professor Burroughs talked about a whole notion about heart and about how you feel about this discussion as opposed to having it as an academic exercise. And that's pretty much how many of us feel about uh, this discussion. As I said, it all started from the foreshore and seabed act, um, and so that's now history. Uh, in a way, though, the depth of feeling, I say, as I say, towards matters relating to Te Tiriti of Waitangi, and indeed a constitution, was and still remains as the very essence of what we are as a political party, as the Māori Party. In the next few weeks, uh, for example, my colleague Dr Peter Sharples will read, uh, read off the first reading of Mokomoko, Restoration of Character, Mana and Reputation Bill. Now, Moko Moko, uh, Professor Rangirui Walker, who was uh, the, the key person who basically put me into this whole notion about thinking about uh, treaty uh, education in Kōrero, and sitting over there, as you know, uh, Moko Moko is from his area. This bill that Dr Sharples will be bringing into Parliament will give effect to an, an agreement uh, that he signed on behalf of the Crown uh, as Minister of Māori Affairs with Te Whānau o Moko Moko on the 28th of September 2011 at Waiawa Marae in Oportiki. This bill will provide statutory recognition of the 1992 free pardon for the Tupuna Moko Moko in relation to the murder of the missionary Carl uh, Volkner in 1865. The, the signing of the agreement and introduction of legislation are significant milestones towards restoring character, mana and reputation of Moko Moko and his descendants. And it also uh, is a step towards restoring the relationship between the Crown and Te Whānau and Mokomoko. So, as I say, just as Mokomoko at, in Whakatohe and Oportiki, uh, he said, uh, well, he was tried and was committed for a crime. He was hanged for the crime that he did not commit, uh, but he was, has since been pardoned. That's the background to this. But what he did say is an important part of, I suppose, us thinking about where we sit right now. He said the following statement. Tangohia te taura i taku kaki, kia waiata au i taku waiata. What it means is, take the rope from my throat so that I may be sing my song. And this, I believe, was a reference to his desire to let the world know about the truth, about his conviction. And I feel that sort of tonight, um, as I describe, it, describe to you the depth of conviction that we have as a Māori party to this review, it's pretty much the same view. Tangohia te taura so that the discussion may rage and allow us to come to some common views in the future. So, um, our party really asked about the review because of the strong need, we thought, and we still believe, for nationhood building and the creation of a society that is far more inclusive. 
We talked about the treaty as the New Zealand's founding document. It belongs to all of us. It must be the backbone of constitutional change. We, uh, we want open and informed debate on constitutional change. Our priority to review the constitution came about, as I sort of have expressed, from decades of concern about the treaty and its position in the constitution and treatment by successive governments. Uh, and just to be clear, whilst the Māori Party view is important, it is actually the view of those that we represent that is most important. Uh, besides the panel, and I need to tell you this, that many may not know this, that besides the panel of uh, Professor Burroughs, uh, Dr Ranginui Walker, uh, Hinurewa, um, um, Deborah, and, and others, uh, uh, Sir there's actually another panel running. Um, and uh, in, Wai at Waitangi, uh, this, in 2010, sorry, um, the Iwi Leaders Forum, which is basically a gathering up of all of the spokespeople of all the Iwis throughout the country, they, they were asked to nominate um, various people to take part in another forum, which is not this constitutional forum, but another forum that, I suppose if you want to put it in another way, that Māori wanted an ability to have our own discussion in our own way, in our own venues, away from the Crown discussion, or that, that's what many believe. And so, uh, the terms of reference for that group, which might um, perhaps inform the discussion uh, for tomorrow and tonight, uh, were some of these. Uh, they are to work on developing a model for a constitution for New Zealand based on tikanga and fundal, fundamental values. E whakaputanga o te rangatiratanga o New Tirini and te tiriti o Waitangi and other relevant work. Uh, if they have to give consideration to the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples in the international context. They have to ensure that whānau hapū are fully informed and participated fully in the development of a model and then to discuss the resultant model with the government once Māori is satisfied with that. So, as I say, we hope that that, that uh, consideration, that discussion that's happening now and pretty much in parallel uh, with the constitutional review panel that we have here um, will, will be able to match up at some point in time. Um, and so, far, just to sort of wrap up then, uh, why the cross-party reference group, uh, why is it so important in terms of the broader context of a review? Well, the role of the group is important because it doesn't take too much of a rocket scientist to work out that any constitutional change would require a broad sense of support, as, Mr. Burrows, uh, as Professor, Professor Burroughs uh, indicated, whether that be cross-party or through by way of a referendum. In announcing the, the review and in ter its terms of reference, both uh, the Honourable Bill English and, and Dr Peter Shavos talked about a programme that would include the appointment of one or more advisory panels to provide expert and community perspectives on matters of substance and process. Um, they spoke uh, about how the review panel could also receive and consider research and recommendations from officials um, on, and the public on New Zealand's current constitutional arrangements and pos possible areas for reform. I won't go any further than, uh, than that because uh, Professor Burroughs has outlined that. But alongside that is also uh, to sort of check uh, is another panel uh, which is made up of members of parliament. And just for your, your, your benefit, we have Simon Bridges from National, Peter Dunn from United Future, myself from the Māori Party, Kennedy Graham from the Green Party, Pune Harawira from the Mana Party, and David Parker from the Labour Party. So we haven't had uh, too many meetings, in fact we've only had one and caught up with the panel, uh, which might indicate that we're waiting for things to start really cranking up and I'm sure at that point in time uh, that uh, things will move. Uh, the key part about that small panel is basically I suppose that in the end very much Parliament is about uh, numbers, it's a numbers game and therefore if anything is going to happen in this place you must have buy-in from all of the parties. And I hope that, having included pretty much every party, although one party who's, who, will, who generally uh, try to put New Zealand first, uh, weren't available to, um, to participate. Um, so I, I can't tell you who they were, but, um, <laughs> but the rest of us are there, and the hope, of course, is with buy-in from all of the parties, that the discussion, and, and this is the key, it's no use having all of this discussion, and it will be intense, it will be great, it will be powerful, it will be emotional, uh, unless we take it somewhere, somewhere then it's really a waste of time and we'll be back to the drawing board. And, and why is that? Is it, why is it so important to develop it and get this corridor sorted? Well, basically because every day in Parliament we raise issues of not uh, 50 metres that way uh, that are discussed about the whole question about the Constitution. Every day there are discussions around that. And as I say, they cannot be uh, staring us in the face right now as we discuss the whole notion about do Māori have rights and interests in fresh water?
They're here in front of us, and that's why it's so important that we go, uh, go forward. So just to wrap up, thank you for having me. Tomorrow, looking forward to having a good quarter with you again um, about uh, some of the discussion. Um, you, you'll be, you will be joined, I'm not, I think you're aware that you'll be joined by Paul, uh, myself, Charles Savell from the Labour Party, uh, Matilia Tude from the Greens, and not too sure whether Peter Dunn's going to come back, I think he's had his turn, uh, and also Una Harawira, he might be there as well, and we'll be able to um, hopefully rotate around and you can have a lot more pleasant discussion with us. I look forward to chairing that panel and I look forward to also uh, being back to receive uh, the outcomes of your hui. I think you're doing a great job right now and your quarter is just so... Sampo, kia kā, kia toa, te manawa nui, kia ora tātou.